Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here and welcome back to, con to the Confederation of S South America, also known as former Argentina. We are at war with, uh, with Peru and we are waiting for our troops to arrive where they need to be. And actually they are attacking me, so that is very interesting. It's going to cost them a lot of troops and I like that. So let's let that happen. Um, yeah, and we could not get naval supremacy here because of enemy intel, I think. So not very helpful that we can't do the naval invasion because we need 50% and we have 47%. And, and we cannot get more apparently because we don't have the, uh, the intel. That sucks. Um, yeah, there's not a lot we can do about it, I think. And there we have the Argentinian Metropole. And that means that we now have a 45% research boost. Which is insane. Absolutely insane. And now what is the next thing that we are going to do? What we could do is get our um, intelligence agency and get more intel that way. Maybe we can do our naval invasion when we have, uh, have integrate Operation Bolivar. Now we are on good terms with the Germans, we could work to integrate the program of the Germans and get our own. I think that is a fantastic idea. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, let the game run. Uh, they are attacking me over here, which is going to cost them thousands. I lost 67 people. So yeah, that is how bad it is. Uh, we are going to get the constraint industry. You can see how quickly we are researching it. It is absolutely... Ridiculous, if you ask me. And there comes my uh, naval dockyards coming online. And yes, we still need more steel. We always need more steel. We will never have enough steel. We should actually try and get the uh, rocket in, uh, ar artillery instead of the normal artillery. Because I don't think there's a lot of extra steel on the map in South America. So we should, we, we should absolutely use our our tungsten instead of our steel for the artillery when we can okay you guys think you can do this well there are still people running away there's our deck conversions because we are trying to make uh, carriers but we will first need to get to carrier free so let's go there and yes that also means that we need to get our airplanes because otherwise we can't use the carriers there is our radar This is a very good tech. As you can see, my flame tanks also get better. In cities. Tanks, planes, radar stuff. Do we get better? Uh, yeah, we do get a better one, but... I guess the ones we have right now are good enough. Maybe we should start focusing on our planes. Let's make the uh, 1940 small air airframe. It makes some fighters and, uh, and some close air support. And we should get some naval bombers as well. Yeah, it is time. It is time. You guys have such a hard time getting away from there. If I attack right now, what is going to happen? Should we take a look? Yeah, see, we cannot win. And if, if you're gonna help, then we are gonna win. But it's going to be very costly. Is there a supply up here? No. You guys could move in, but is that going to help you guys? Because then you have to protect two tiles, so you guys should really not attack over here. Yeah, you guys should not attack. Don't do this. Why can I not delete it?
Yeah, but now you're not over here anymore. That is so annoying. Go here, please. And don't attack. Just stay there. Uh, I could give this a go, but I don't think this is going to be helpful. We are going to not attack them. We're going to wait for the other troops to be in place and we have to do the naval invasion. We will let them attack me. Uh, that should be uh, good for us. They will lower their manpower and we are going to get the experience. We need to wait for the, to do the naval invasion so we can take Lima, hold Lima. And we could also get uh, Piura and then we have a couple of fronts. They have to uh, put their troops to the front so that could maybe help us. I think that is the best thing to do here. The troops are coming in like cookies. And we have an extra point for our artillery. Good. Let's go this get the, the extra production bonuses. Can we get more uh, marines? Yes, we can get two more marines, so let's put them in. Actually, not like this, but like this. More dockyards, yeah, well, you can make whatever you want, because I will make the... Actually, we can make the light cruiser right now, I think. Light cruiser 2. We don't need anything else. You'll become a spotter. Historical light cruiser is fine. Uh, you need a battery. You don't need. You're not, not going to use it because the only thing you are going to use is a or an active sonar or a radar. Now the active sonar is for the sub detection. We could keep that one on, and this one is giving more service detection. So we have a good service detection and sub detection with this uh, combo. We could add more. It's actually very cheap, so maybe we should. Not that one anymore. Let's put two on. I'm not going to put anything else on this, because the only thing that they need to do is spot the enemy. Yeah, you can't do this, right? Because you can only have one sonar. But you can get a sonar and a radar. So we're going to do it like this. And this will become my... How did I call the other ships? Oh yeah. Uh, light Cruiser 2 Spotter. Save. Gonna put it in. Uh, doesn't matter. And we're gonna build these as quickly as we can because they are the most important. So we're gonna do it like this. Because we don't have those ships yet. And they are really good at finding everything around us. And telling the telling our other ships to attack them. So it's going to be amazing. We should also get the better depth charges because I still want to make more destroyers that are specialized in killing submarines and not scaring them away. Okay, that is going. Are you level 5? Nice. Your stats are a bit mad, but you have a good amount of supply and, uh, and more planning. So that is really helpful. But yeah, we cannot get the naval superiority. Supremacy. Which is pretty frustrating. The assembly line production. Good. We have all the uh, bonuses here. It's 1941. Better radar is good. So we can get better intel. But we're also getting our intelligence agency. So I think that is more than enough. Uh, I think we need to focus on our planes here. We are doing the carrier. Uh, let's get the stuff that I want for my plane. So we absolutely want the heavy machine guns for the fighters. So let's start that one. And we have 24 birds over here. So we can make another defensive army. 
some point. You guys have enough troops to put on uh, each naval base, so we need 48 and then we have 2 on each naval base, and I think that is uh, perfect. We will continue until we have 72 of these guys. Our manpower is going down, so we might have to go to extensive conscription. There we go, we have one too many. We're gonna make a new army in the defensive troops here. And they are gonna be defended by Ramon over here, because he is just really good at defending. And... Yeah, I guess you're just gonna go here as well, because there is nothing else to do. I will give you an attacking order. And there we go. We have our agency. <coughs> and we also have our economy and intelligence up. So let's get the naval department. Because maybe this will give us enough intel. To do the naval invasion. I think that is based on the naval intel. Or it's just over the sea tile and we just need the radar. That could also be the case. Let's build some radars. Next focus. We still do this one to get a bit more opinion and a military uh, factory, but that is not a lot of course. We can do some industrial stuff here. <laughs> Eight steel, that is nothing anymore, but the aluminum is actually uh, somewhat helpful. And over here we have civilian factory. Military factories. We can get the consumer goods factories factor minus 15%. Let's go this way. Let's do the industrial stuff. I think it's still worth it. Oh yeah, and the new units. Actually. You should go there. And the new defensive units are going to this army. There we go. Uh, we have enough points to integrate another territory. And we should, because it is also helping us with our... Um, need of garrisons it goes it goes down should absolutely do this oh we should get this one because we have 58 steel uh, tungsten over here it's a new captured territory from uh, la paz i think it's the capital of uh, of bolivia so let's get it yeah you can keep attacking me and lose more men that is uh, very helpful So yeah, things are going very quickly now, because we have the research speed at 45% extra. I think the carriers will be uh, ready before we can even build them. And you can see that we are getting a lot of boats built as well. But yeah, let's get those spotters going. We need so many more spotters. Now we are going to war with uh, Great Britain and America. You could, you could just put one boat on each sea tile and they will just discover everything. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at least. So that is around us. And then this will be very difficult because the British and Americans will be here and here as well. But maybe we can uh, try to control this part. And maybe these two as well. And then when we are going, we are going to try to take control of these sea tiles. Oh, we have a point here for our infantry equipment. Uh, we make them better. Done. Yeah, it's all red because we are training. All this, all this stuff that we are training is in the queue now. Including our new marines. Oh, we can get an extra one actually. So let's get another marine. We at least want 10 of them. Is that template ready? Yes. 
It is. I like that they keep attacking me. Okay, we are having more radars. It's not helping for the intel. Well, at least we are getting some uh, operatives that we are, can, we are gonna use. And I should also build the uh, department so I can uh, do some encryption on Peru. Okay, we are done building already. That was very quick. Uh, we could build some radars around everywhere. Maybe we should. On the tip here. 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 There. 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 And there. So that we at least have intel around us. And maybe here as well in the middle. Let's keep that building. So yeah, not getting attacked. Very good. What is that sound? Hey, we can cre recruit an operative. Minus 10% detection. Let's get you and put you in Peru. Will that be enough soon to... Uh, Naval invasion. I guess the naval department didn't help. Okay, let's form the department, the cryptology department. There we go. Now we are not scaled to 50 but 54. So apparently they have a very good intelligence. But we now have naval superiority. So we can do the invasion. And let's go over it. They are going. Uh, we could use our ships as a naval invasion support, so they are going to follow my invasion. Let's do this. Let's make sure that they are not getting killed. There we go. I like the look of my battle fleet. And soon with the carriers it's going to be even better. Hopefully we don't find their fleet because I want to capture it. Looks like things will go well. And can we win this battle? Ooh. Looks like it. We are getting a bonus because we are doing shore bombardment so they get less defense. Uh, can you do force attack? That helps a little bit as well. There we go. Okay, Lima is going to be ours. Then I think that these guys... ...are going there. With a couple more, actually. Uh, let's put these birds here as well. And you as well. And these seven will protect Lima. And then we will do another invasion. Unassigned divisions. Oh yeah, because they're not going there anymore, apparently. Uh, the new birds... The new Thunderbirds. Go here again. That means you as well. Please don't tell me you're gonna go to... Uh, this thing over here. No. Okay, Lima is going to be mine. That could mean that we are going to fight their navy, which would be... Not ideal, so let's retreat you instantly. And come back home. Before we're gonna fight their navy. It could be over here. Okay. And now you guys are going here. Oh no. Uh, cancel and do this. Now they should go there by boat. And then you guys can do a new naval invasion. From here to this port. Yeah, you, you are going to lose the front line, I know. But I think that's fine. Because they also are preparing like this. And the defenders are on their way, so... Okay. Still need all the things. Oh, we need so much support equipment, actually. Let's focus on that, actually. Holy shit. And let's get more of this. And let's get some... Aluminum. 
Okay, they are attacking me again. Perfect to see. Uh, I hope that my convoys are not getting killed, actually, because my ships are not over here. This could be a mistake. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. It looks like we are going to reach it. Is there any other supply up over here? Oh, if I can get this behind there... Behind the front, that would be amazing, actually. Because then they have no more supplies. This is the only supply they have, these four. I should do a naval invasion over there. Let's see if that's going to succeed. Naval invasion to this dock, please. It takes 14 days, right? Oh, 28. Well, let's do the trick again. One by one. Not sure if this works, actually. It does. Seven days. Okay, we have the uh, better machine guns. <coughs> Um, we also need the better... I think it's the heavy bomb locks that are good for uh, close air support, right? What the heavy bombs? Yeah, just the heavy bombs, I think. Uh, let's also get the cannons. Cannons are sometimes good as well. Oh, and the engines as well. We need the engines. And then the better guns as well. We need all of it. We can get another recruit. Why are you at home again? Go over here. Okay, we have formed the department. We are going to try to cipher Peru. They are having a good uh, defense. So we are going to get the radio interception groups. So that we are going to get it uh, quicker. Are you guys ready? Almost. You guys can go to Lima. And our manpower is down. We need to get the next conscription law. We need way more troops. Okay, let's see if we can do this. There they go. And we should also uh, put troops there when we can. So we are going to make another group. Like seven of them. With a good defender. Uh, let's get you. Make a fallback line. Over there. So you guys can uh, protect this invasion. There's our industrial expansion. We can now do rapid urbanization. Civilian factories or agricultural improvements. Let's do rapid urbanization. Okay, let's use my fleet to help with shore bombardment. But we have a bit more chance here, and let's select my invaders and do a force attack. Looks that we are going to win. If I can take both of these, that is going to be fantastic. Nineteen thirty six carrier hull, let's go to the nineteen forty carriers and let's make them. And we're gonna make more battleships as well. We need everything now. Ooh, we might not win this actually. That would be a shame. What if we attack here with these guys? Let's do a massive attack and see if we can actually do something here. 
no. Stop. Um, stop. Not gonna work. We lose way too many men when we do that. We don't have any manpower, so. We need to take Molendo over here. Which is very difficult. What is siege artillery? Do they have a fort? No, so we won't get any bonus there. Let's keep doing force attack on these guys. It's the only thing I can do. But I guess that they can just keep reinforcing this tile and, they, and we will never invade it, so... But is the AI that smart? That is the question. Better radars are still a thing. We need all the boat stuff. I want to make the 1940 heavy ships. I need to get my artillery up. I think that is the most important. And we can get rocket artillery. Let's get the rocket artillery going. We are going to get the airplane in two days and we can get another... Let's get you. Another thing here. Let's put you in Ecuador. Because that will be the next target. There's our radio interception group. Uh, I will get all the intelligence stuff. But that is also helping. Okay, Lima is holding out there. That is the good news. Uh, 1940 planes, please. And we have a new trade for our planes. The only thing I can pick is the reliability. So we will pick it. Hey, come on, guys, you can do it. My troops are ready to put to go here to defend the port. Come on. They are gonna lose their supply hub. No, they sent another one in. Uh-oh. They keep replenishing it. Good news is that we are holding Lima. Fairly easily, I would say. So, yeah, that is really good news. But I think the naval invasion is not going to work. Can I get more naval invasion units? I can get one extra. Let's go over it. Let's close these tabs because there is no need for it. We can see how many divisions are getting built anyway. And we are out of manpower, so yeah, we need the next uh, conscription law. Some of them are very, very damaged. But we are now at... 72. And Japan declared war on the Philippines. Let me get a speech, so we have to skip it. We have built our radars everywhere. We will upgrade them over time. What is the next thing that I need? Once again, infrastructure for more resources, I guess. Get a bit more oil. Well, we already have built all the buildings there. Um, oh yeah, I can upgrade my rubber tile. Oh my god, we get we get 40 rubber over there. Let's build that up right now. And then let's build two naval dockyards there. Icelandic American Corporation. Yep. Yeah. How much do I need? Oh, I can do it right now. I have 112 points. So let's get the better conscription laws here. And some of you are returning home. Yeah. Because they don't think they are going to win. They ran out of organization and then they will uh, retreat home. So yeah, let's stop the naval invasion. Let's give you a fallback line once again over here. And we will try again later. You guys uh, go back home. There we go. Perfect. We should hold this. I think we have enough supplies here. Can I send some more troops? 0 0.76 supplies remaining. 
I don't think I can send more troops over there. Maybe one or two, actually. Uh, let's send two more and see if we still have the supplies to hold Lima. At least we have Lima. That will uh, really weaken them, of course. Better engines for the planes. We need the 1940 air uh, engines. Well, maybe not, actually. Well, yes, I think we do, but I also need the cannons. Let's have large cannons, but that is ahead of time. Let's get the cannons. We have a trait. Uh, we want to do the uh, fighter aircraft, I think. So let's go into the fighter tree with our uh, plane MIO. It actually reminds me that I think all these boats have no MIO. Now I think about it. Which is... Insane. Now I think about it. So all the time we did not put it in. But this screen should have it. Uh, destroy two screens. Okay, you only get a bit more light attack and anti-air. But yeah, that is maybe worth it. No, the other hand is not worth it. Because we need to change it and it's too annoying. Get the last intelligence. So we will have way more intel now. We can now see their boats. They have no heavy ships. No heavy ships for you. I don't think there is a lot we can do against this whole front here. We just need more attacking armies. Now luckily our artillery is going up like crazy. Did I never put on... Oh my... We need so many more trucks. Oopsie daisy. Let's do this right now. Wow. Bulgarian reintegration campaign in the Balkans. Okay. Looks like that my aid units can hold this. So that is really nice. And they have to put uh, like eight troops around here. So it's going to weaken their other fronts. If I can do this here as well. It's going to be amazing. Uh, how are the marines doing? Can I put them on the field? Can. Put the marines in the marine army. Uh, let's not give them a 25% penalty. Let's train them up. Until they are at least level 2. And then we will do the invasion again. So yeah, the trucks are a problem. Need more trucks. More weaponization. Let's get more in the, uh, infrastructure where we can get some resources. There's more rubber over there. Maybe we don't need the extra resources anymore. I think we have gotten everything that is important. Well, there's a little bit of oil here. Uh, let's build two more naval dockyards there. Let's just go where we have a lot of slots. A lot of building slots. Some of the states are not integrated as well, so that is going to be weird. Here, we have five building slots there. One, two, three, four, five. I should not forget to integrate Bahia. Focus. Focus, Dutchie. Uh, we can do this one for the... Uh, Consumer goods factor is minus 15%. I think it's very helpful. And then we can revise the treaty that we have with the uh, UK. In our advantage, of course. Of course we do. Now we are soon getting a massive... Intel advantage. Massive. Oh, Portugal. I mean, uh, Japan. What are you doing, man? 
They are going to take all of the East Indies. That is what is happening. And Europe is very uh, occupied. Just a couple of wars in the islands. I think the Allies are trying to land on some islands here and uh, yeah, Greece is getting killed. Rip Greece. How much men did you lose already? 121,000. Yeah, just keep attacking me. That's uh, really nice of you. Uh, one of you goes to Colombia. There's the Air Force Department. We have all the departments. We get some defense against their cryptology. Let's get some more radio interceptions that we can do uh, the encryption bonus quicker. Now, will it be safe to train my heavy ships over here? I would love to, because then I get some more naval experience. And you guys as well, actually. But train until you are at the maximum. And you as well. Other ones are all trained. You are all trained. You as well. You can go in here. And you guys can train until you are ready. And there are my first spotter fleets. So let's make a task force with my spotters. Put them over there. Get the spotter icon with a color I'm not using, yellow. Spotter. Split it in half. Yeah, you don't really need a commander, but let's give you one anyway. And you guys, your only job is to never engage. Never. And patrol. All of this for now. And tell us if you find anything. That is the only thing they need to do. These ships. Very curious. See, they are already finding, finding ships. So we have found... Um, a small fleet of Peru. But I don't want to kill it because I want to capture it, so... This is going to be very helpful against America and the uh, United Kingdom. The only thing they do is try to spot the enemy fleets. Did I give them the better engine? Otherwise that is a mistake. Okay, they are having 38 uh, kilometers an hour. That is really nice. So yeah, they're gonna find these, the enemies everywhere. While not being detected themselves, I think. But yeah, since we are not using it, I'm gonna put them in on hold and don't let them uh, find the enemy fleets because we're not gonna kill them. We'll capture it. Finland declared war on the Soviet Union and the German Reich declared war on the Soviets. There we go. It's happening. And the Finnish are trying to take back their stuff and the Germans and the Axis are going to war. With the Russians. Okay, we have plenty of artillery. Germany breaks the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Yes, we know. Can I sec make more of this? I can actually. Now we have 21 attacking units. Perfect. And six of you are going there. Are you kidding me? Don't! Ah, oh, this is so annoying. All of you go here and you three go there. We also lost our defensive units over here. Let's send one extra over there. Okay, when this one is trained to level two, we will do another invasion planning. Maybe we can actually do it when they are training. Let's try this once again. I will also send some troops... Oh no, not there. That's, they, have, they have troops over there, so there's no need for that, actually. Do this style. Okay, it's already going wrong. Wait, is no one going to... Uh, 
Try again. Attention! Cristo, señor. No, these two. Click, 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 click. Firme. Click, 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 click. Attention. There we go. Are you gonna get planning while you're training? I think you do. That is pretty helpful. We have a lot of air experience. Maybe we should use some. Always this one. I always pick that one. And we should get the Grand Battle Fleet as well. So that my heavy ships are now completely strong. I could use my points on what then? Well, integrations. We should integrate Bahia. Because that is where we are building some stuff ourselves. Alright. Things are coming in, guys. Perfect. Need more naval dockyards, and they are coming. We have the resources. Japan declared war on Dutch East Indies, and we have capitalized the beef industry, so we are having more civilian factories to build with ourselves, and now we can revise the treaty. And that means that we have to put less resources to our market, on the market, so we keep more for ourselves, and we also get some bonuses. Perfect. Yeah, they actually do get the bonus, but let's stop doing this now, because we are going to... Okay, the US joined the Allies, and there we go. You guys, stop training. We have the 1940 carrier hulls, so we can start making our carriers, and we will. I want to make my, my planes ready to go. We are getting points for our ships here. Uh, more armor. Yeah, the thing now is that we are getting a new ship. That, don't, that doesn't need the armor. So we're not going to change it. And we are going to make our new carrier. The 1940 carrier. You're going to get a hangar space. And another hangar space, and another hangar space. And another hangar space, and another hangar space. Some anti-air. Not needed. How expensive is it? Oh, let's put it on. Let's get a good engine. Let's get a secondary battery. And you're not gonna get any armor, because you will never get hit. Right. We go over our cost, so that will trigger an event, I think. Yeah, let's put any armor in. Six or eight armor is just uh, hopeless. So we will make this the uh, carrier three. That's it. And we can put 100 planes on this thing, right? Yes. Yes, okay, so we cannot click this thing. It's over the maximum, so we cannot do it. Huh, but what if I don't care about the treaty? Is there no way to turn off the treaty? No. Well, that sucks. I guess we need to focus for it. No! Okay, well, remove all the extra batteries. And the radar. Oh, that sucks, man. No, we can only put this on. We can only put 60 ships on the thing because we have a limit. Are you kidding me? God damn it. Well, at least we can put the radars on. And the... I guess a bit of armor. No, armor goes away. Oh, 
Well, that sucks. Well, I guess this is what I can. At least they will get built quicker. And we are going to make four of these. Uh, we have no MIO, right? No. Okay. Four carriers are in the queue. And that is the only thing that needs to be produced right now, actually. So let's put them higher up. Oh, that's annoying. Then the spotters. And we need way and way more materials for this. Oof. Hello, United States. We are friends, right? We are friends. And we are still friends with the UK as well, so let's trade with them. And make sure that we are going to get our carriers as quickly as we can. Need to make one of them. Or I forget. Okay. Well, I have to put a cut in here. The, the episode takes way too long. Uh, we are now at the planning phase, really. We need to do a lot of things at the same time. Because we are unlocking everything. Planes are coming in as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully I see you in the next episode. Hopefully the invasion will, uh, will work. And then we can get another front here. We will make a front here. And then we should hopefully take down Peru. So yeah, hopefully you're still enjoying this and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.